Acura is going to announce a new TLX later this week. Tesla is testing new battery production ideas to make it cheaper and more comparable to that of gas cars. And there might be a new Cash for Clunkers program amid the COVID-19 pandemic. All this and much more on Up to Date with the Gulf Coast Gearheads. So we mentioned at the beginning, Acura is going to be revealing their new TLX, right. and I'm starting to think these OEMs are listening to our episodes, Josh, because we have complained about this in the past one. <laughs> Not really, but it makes me feel better. So, but what what do you what information do you have for us on this new 2021? So this is pretty exciting. Um, they actually announced a video that they're going to be releasing, talking about how the TLX Type S is going to potentially sound or look. That's what I'm hoping for to see what those exhaust revs do sound like with this new Turbo V6. Now, this event will be featured this Thursday, May the 28th, and it'll be at 12 Central Standard Time or 1 Eastern or 10 Pacific, wherever the heck you are listening to this from. That's uh, just look into that. So around those times, Acura is posting this on their page. We'll go ahead and put a link to what they've provided in the description of this video so you guys can be up to date on when that is and be excited just like we are. So it'll basically be kind of like when Chevy revealed the C8 Corvette in that style of reveal? I think like so. A live video? I think so. That or they're going to be releasing a video that they've created. High, okay, high so it, might, it may or may not be live. Like we, yeah, we just I know don't it's going to be a video. Yeah, I don't think it has as much uh, notoriety as the C8 Corvette coming out. But I definitely Even think though it should because it's a pretty cool car. So yeah, I'm super pumped about this. Um, also, um, we're assuming this car probably once it comes out, um, being that it's going to have a twin turbo V6. Yeah, probably going to push about forty or fifty thousand. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. It's, the current TLX is powered by a turbo two liter four cylinder right. that what the current Honda Accord is using. But the higher trims of this, the Type S is supposed to get this new Twin Turbo V6. Right, and this will be similar, I think, in performance to what you see with the G70s and how they got the Twin Turbo V6 and also competing with these uh, BMW and Mercedes with the C43 AMG yeah. and the M340i. Definitely super excited. And you also get uh, the good peace of mind of having some Honda reliability. Yeah. You know, you know, it's not going to break down on you after 20,000 miles. So. Right. But other people, other manufacturers are stepping up their car game. Uh, Tesla has been in the news a lot recently Gosh. in our episodes with all kinds of stuff. All whether over the place. <laughs> regarding moving out of California, new Cybertruck factories going to Texas or Oklahoma. Well, now they're talking about potentially making their vehicles cheaper and more cost uh, effective and comparable with right. what gas cars are costing. And the main reason and the main thing they're gonna do with that is basically using less or no cobalt in their uh, batteries, which what I'm reading in here is that's the most expensive component okay. to an electric vehicle's battery. And really the electric vehicle might sound dumb to explain this battery is the main thing that powers this so that is the equivalent of their combustion engine right it's the most expensive thing in an electric vehicle so if you can find a way to a reduce the cost to make it and the amount of labor and time it takes to make it that's two ways that they're going to reduce the price of this battery which ultimately will reduce the price of the vehicle itself so they think doing that will make the vehicle overall cheaper and they've been working with the contemporary uh, Amperex Technology LTV, which is a Chinese-based company that helps them with their batteries. So they're teaming up and really trying to hammer this out. Uh, apparently, another highlight, they think it's supposed to be a million mile battery, which means that's how long it's gonna, not, 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 not the charge, that's oh, how long it's supposed to last, like okay. the life of the battery. Got to, like there's no, no way it could be the opposite. <laughs> no way you go from mm, 200 miles on this charge to a million, like that's just insane. <laughs> you never pull over yet. Yeah, no, never, <laughs> just keep going. But no, it I also floats, you drive it across the ocean. Hey, you never stop. Elon Musk behind the company, who knows? <laughs> it, it'll probably turn into a SpaceX and rocket land on the ship. moon. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's coming for Mars. Well, get, getting back on track, you know, this is this is a this makes me a little concerned for combustion engines because if, if they're really starting to push yeah. the envelope on how good these electric engines are, I'm a little concerned about 
the beautiful exhaust notes we get to hear from time yeah. to time from these combustion engines. Which you will definitely hear us post a video later this week about how much we love V8s. So stay tuned for that one. But I mean, really, I'm not surprised by it. I mean, we've talked in past episodes that eventually electric vehicles are going to take over and that's what a lot of people are going to be driving, um, which is fine by me if my daily vehicle has to be an electric, but if I can still keep an older vehicle right. that still makes loud noises, <laughs> then I'd be okay with that. Like if I have to pay, like what is it, a special tax like they got in China? You have to pay a special tax to have or, a gas guzzling V8? Or even in California where they have the, uh, the gas guzzling tax. I think it is called it the gas guzzler's tax. Yeah. So... I wouldn't be surprised by it, but again, I mean, it just makes sense that Tesla's going to make their vehicles, and even other electric vehicles with other OEMs, are going to make them cheaper, more reliable, wider range or longer range. Right. Like it, that's just going to come when they develop the technology. Now, speaking of upgrading vehicles and this entire you know car industry saga we're dealing with right now, um, big banks and big um, car magazine experts are expecting and suspecting the car industry to go into another cash for clunkers program okay now this is not a confirmed um, situation right now it's just a prediction right Morgan okay. Stanley being the main uh, bank that's involved with this you know big bank has has told and given to experts car experts that the last time we had a spike of issues with car sales the last time we had this was, you know, back in the late 2000s when mm -hmm. we had the economic crisis. There was a stimulus package that was put into place that was a car allowance program, okay. but also known as the cash for clunkers, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and allowed people that had older cars that were less fuel efficient to go in and buy new fuel efficient cars. And so, an example is somebody that's car was only worth maybe five to eight hundred bucks could now get three to four thousand dollars for their trade. Definitely, we get them off the couch to buy another car. Yeah. And last time they did it, it was about a $3 billion stimulus fund that was created for this that then produced $10, 10 billion in revenue. Now, what they're expecting is if this does end up happening again amidst all of the other stimulus packages that are going on, this would allow for $10 billion to be given out for the stimulus to then estimate it to make $40 billion in revenue. So it's just another way to sort of kickstart and give a, a jolt to the, the car industry. Right. Kind of give it like that boost it needs because this is hard times, you know, desperate times call for desperate measures, you know, and this is one of those times. And uh, personally, I think it's a great idea. I mean, the car industry needs all the help it can get. And if this is a situation where one of the few where if we can stimulate the economy and make money off of it profit wise, we got to do it. I mean, this is this is a, a weird moment in time, and I think the car industry really needs it. I don't want to see more brands go below, and we lose more and lose yeah. more creativity. You know. Yeah, and I mean, we've talked in previous up to date episodes that now is really kind of the time to buy a car. Like, if you have the money and you're looking for one, you're still employed, all that stuff. If they're giving you extra money for your trade and they're offering zero percent APR for eighty four months, no payments for three to six, right. and even some people doing nine months. Like it's it's a pretty good time to buy a car. For nine years. Yeah, yeah, nine years, no payments. Nine months, my gosh. Can you find this car for nine months? No. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying that no, no payments for nine, oh, nine yeah, months. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying. Yeah. The 84 months, that's that's what a lot of people are doing, but then they're also saying on top of that, no payments for three, six, nine months. Right. Which is ridiculous. Those deferred payments. Yes, yeah. which tax it on to the end of your... Right. Your auto loan, but it still works out because you're getting zero percent. You know, actually paying extra, so I wouldn't worry still about that. Still pretty good, yeah, yeah. But that's what we have today on up to date for you. A little bit of a wider range between new vehicles and new uh, programs to help stimulate the automotive industry. Right. Um, let us know what you've been reading this week on automotive news. If there's something that you think we should have taken a look at, let us know in the comments below. But for more content related to this and staying up to date, hit that subscribe button. Find us on all the social media, like we say every episode. We'll have them in the video, you can see there. But other than that, that's Gulf Coast Gearhead signing off.